So hello guys, uh, in the last video we end up on the point of uh, influence lines. Okay. And if you go to results, advanced influence line and press the help button, you will end up, and if you got Mozilla like me, you will end up on this page. Okay. Here they explain what is all about the influence lines, which is the second method here. Displaying the changes of the values of a select quantity in a selected point because of the movement of the load over the structure, the display influence lines for a selected quantity. Influence lines is that you select, for example, the bending moment in a point and the program will show you how that moment varies, how it changes as the structural load is moving over all its steps. Okay? So that's what we are that's what we are going to do. Let me close this. Okay, influence lines. I've already selected that. And first of all, let's select the MY and FZ. On the forces the element will be element number eight we are going to analyze our beam the position is 0 0.5 which means that influence line will be created for the point located in the middle of the bar length we are going to make the influence lines regarding to these moments and uh, forces shears over here on the element number eight in the middle of that element and our load will have will be all of the load all of the cases of the load okay now let's apply that and the, here there you go you have in red the fz force in kilonewton and sorry red the fz and in this magenta you've got the bending moment regarding to the always remember that middle node of bar number eight okay this is the first step our load, the second, the third, the fourth. And the program also shows you where are the maximum values for the bending moment. It is in the fourth, in the step number four. And for the FZ force, is, it is in the step number seven, as you can see here. You can also see all the forces over here. Okay. I forget about one thing. Let me go back. Nothing to worry about. Just make influence slides once again. Select this, this, number 8, 0 0.5. Okay, and for the nodes, I want this and this. I want the influence lines for the node number 2. And if I turn this on, you can see that node number 2, it is this node over here. I want to see this displacement and this displacement here for this node. Okay. Now, yes, let's apply that. And uh, here we've got that those values, as you may see, for this movement, for this displacement, which is a UX. That value is bigger when our crane load is in step number two. And for this value, it is bigger when our crane load is in step number one. Okay. Well, uh, regarding to influence lines, I think you've got the idea. Well, thank you very much for watching this video.
and uh, in the next we are going to also make a moving load but a uh, much more cooler much more cooler moving load because it will be on a three dimensional frame which is much more exciting okay so i hope you guys uh, come back to see the exercise number five it's going to be one of the well it's going to be better than the others because now we go straight to this point three dimensional structures three dimensional frames okay so now i'm running out of time i guess thank you for watching